Hello family, welcome back to yet another edition of the Opolo Diversity Solutions and uh, in this video we're going to be focusing on uh, this HP ProBook 430G8 Generation 8 laptop this is uh, how slick it is and uh, it has uh, various features but uh, our main focus to, to this time around is uh, checking out the interior and uh, the main concern uh, why I'm opening this up is it's, it's not displaying it's charging but can't display so I'm trying to do a troubleshoot of how we can uh, put it back to function but uh, before you open it up it has uh, five screws that uh, at the outer side that's the back side and uh, these are the two uh, sorry these are the two from this side and the three from the other extra end so we have to unscrew those five screws and uh, get them off uh, get them off get the fourth one also then the fifth one also you unscrew it so once we are done we we'll get our something which we can use we can use a, a sharpened uh, minus let me turn it like this this side at this extreme end is where you bend and uh, try to open gently open up this side gently so once you are done you just open it up from the back end Sure that all screws are loosened very well. So the same. This is the best. We can remove it off. So this is our interior. This is our interior and uh, if I'm to name the parts that are in this laptop, this slick laptop, uh, we have the battery here in case. So for this uh, troubleshoot of ours, we need to first uh, disconnect the battery. And this is the battery that we're going to disconnect. Then uh, we shall have to remove the RAM. This is the RAM, the DDR CHB. Yeah, it has two double slots. There is this slot and this other one. And uh, this one, in case you need to upgrade your RAM, you can uh, just fix it to the second. Uh, you can just fix the second RAM stick into this other slot, which is available. Then, uh, in case you just want to use one chip, it's okay. You can just remove this and upgrade it to what you prefer. And this is it's fun. This one here is it's fun, and uh, it's. It runs through this up to the heat sink here onto the board, so well, it, it, it's quite uh, slim and small in size. Then it has uh, the SSD hard drive, which is this one here SSD drive, and uh, it's connected directly to the board through this port. Then it has the wireless card. This is its wireless card, and then it has two double speakers, which are these, this one and this one here. So this is its um, this is its CMOS battery, and uh, for this troubleshoot, I want to first well, I have I will have to first remove the RAM RAM stick, put it aside gently. And uh, this can also show you in case you want to upgrade your battery. So the battery has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six screws. So I'll have to first remove all the five screws. It has uh, the battery has arrows showing you where those screws are. 
So you first have to start by disconnecting. Uh, best practice, first start by disconnecting the battery of the board. Start by disconnecting the battery. So let me first disconnect the battery connection port. Disconnect, continue disconnecting this and this. So once I remove, once I finish removing, I will uh, remove the battery screws. All the battery screws here. six so here we are this is our battery so in case we need to replace we can just replace this but uh, for our case it's not we are not to replace we just want to disconnect any power line so that we can just reset the whole computer in order to have it power um, so I will remove the CMOS battery as well that's its CMOS and I will open it gently and turn on the switch for like 30 seconds turn it on for 30 seconds then once I'm done I can connect I then connect it directly connect the power line over the charger directly and I Switch it on. Switch it on. It will give me that beeping sound for indicating that it has no RAM and there is CMOS battery. Then I will, I will turn it off. I will turn it off. Remove, remove the charger. Press it. Press the power button again, and then I can put back my RAM stick. It's put back my RAM stick. And uh, connect back the CMOS battery. Connect it back here. Then uh, put back the battery. There are two, uh, two locks here and here, so you have to ensure that those holes enter into those locks. And then put the connector back to the board. And then we get our screws back. Six screws. So once we are done, we get back our base cover. Now putting this cover back, you have to start from the front side. Fix this cover at the front side. 
and then gently slide it back and then press gently so that the inner locks are fitted and lock very well. So there we go. So once I'm done, I will just open it up and switch it on. It will give me that message. I uh, hope you can see the message telling me that I need to reset my I need to reset my time. So I'll press enter to reboot, and uh, that's how I can get gain its display thank you for watching thank you hope to see you soon have a good time see you soon cheers and that's it for this video thank you for watching till the end and uh, thank you for subscribing thank you for being part of uh, the opportunity solutions see you next time same time same day kindly always keep checking for new videos hit that subscription button and the not notification bell as we stay together thank you for watching enjoy the rest of your life peace and love one